Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homestead. I want to do the update for the large grow tent, and I'm excited for spring because it's time for planting outside soon, and you'll see everything that I've got transplanted into this tent. So let me grab the camera and I'll show you. Alright, so you'll see there's been some changes in this tent. Start over here on the right. We've got our tomatoes up here. These are the Matt's Wild cherry tomatoes. So now they're living inside the large grow tent, and they've all been transplanted to the five inch pots. And we've got our green machine zucchini in the five inch pots here. We have our spaghetti squash. I just transplanted these this morning over to those five inch pots. And then we've got, let's see what, let's see what that one is back there. Looks like we got the popsicle sticks in here. Let's see, that's the dark green zucchini is in this one. This one here is the uh, gray grillers. So those are the great grillers that we uh, we use. We actually barbecue those because they are a, they're a short little, I guess they're like a little squatty zucchini, and they're kind of a light skinned. They're like a really light green, and you slice them to where they're you know maybe half an inch thick. And then you take those and you put a little olive oil or some uh, different type of oil. I don't know. You don't usually want to use olive oil on a barbecue because it's too high a heat. I don't know. It sounds good to me, but Paula knows what to do. <laughs> so she. She grills those and puts a little like blackened seasoning on those and they're really good. And so you can, you know, if you're a vegetarian, you can use those as a burger replacement. So they call them gray grillers. But we just use them as like an appetizer to go along with our meal or a side dish. Uh, so then we've got, let's see, that's the Smooth Operator F1 Summer Squash. They're in that one there. You can see there's that one there is a, just starting to pop up. And then we have the Success PM Straight Neck Squash all in there and there's a few that are still popping up. I want to go ahead and transfer them over because these with the, the true leaves that are popping out, they were getting a little uh, top heavy and falling over inside the small tent. So they've all been transplanted. And then we've got our tomatoes over here. You can see there, look at those stalks. Look at how thick those are. That's a good sign. And I've been foliar feeding these. So the brown color on the leaves that you'll see here, that's the, uh, the seaweed extract along with the cow mag. But you can see they're all very healthy. And that one there, I believe those are the, let's see, that's the Moskvich, which is a midsize, and the Crimson Sprinter. So they're a midsize tomato. I didn't do any beefsteak type this year. And then back here, we've got our F1 Montesinos. That's the grape tomatoes. You can see they're really, they're really taking off. You can see how high that light is up to the ceiling. That's pretty much about as high as I can get that. So hopefully they don't get much taller before we do our transplants. But they're all doing really well. Been doing a lot of foliar feeding on all the tomatoes. Here's the uh, the pop-up. It's four feet now. And it's in flowering mode. So hopefully I'll get some fruit set on that before we stick it out. And we've got the kale here. The only kale that's left in the big tent, which is the Russian uh, the red Russian kale. Sorry guys, a little tongue-tied there. <laughs> but uh, we harvested off some this week. And uh, it's all grown back. It's doing really well. I really love this kale for the inside grow tent. So it's definitely going to be coming back. The other kales, well, you'll see when I do the other video updates, they've moved into different various areas around the homestead. Uh, we got the poinsettia doing well. Let's pull this out of here so you guys can see down below. And we got the other tomato plant that's over here. It's doing well. I foliar fed this once this week. And uh, it seems to be doing pretty well, pretty green. No disease issues or anything like that. Then down here we have the, uh, the pink boar tomatoes. They're all doing really well. And foliar feeding them, as well as the eggplants. And you can see the eggplants are really doing good. And then this is the one lone pepper that I got to germinate out of my seed that I had that was three years old. That's one of those sweet chocolate peppers. So we'll have one pepper plant that I'll probably put into a pot. But the, uh, the eggplants are doing really well. They got the really nice big leaves now. You can see they're just really healthy looking. I mean, there's a few leaves in there that, you know, they were, they were the original true leaves that came out. And I'll just snip those off. But the newest growth, you can see, is really, you know, healthy and green. And it looks happy. I've been foliar feeding them. And then uh, I was surprised. That's, that's the little poinsettia start that I stuck in there. So uh, it looks like that poinsettia is starting to grow. So at least then we'll have another little poinsettia friend inside the large grow tent this winter. So that'll probably make Paula happy. It'll just be more, more work for me to have to rotate things around. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm really happy with this tent. I mean, 
look, look at all these eggplants. I mean, that is just going to be great. I can't wait to get those in the yard. All the little stocky beasts. And the tomatoes. I mean, yeah, I figure there's 10 tomatoes in there. 10 in there. 10 in there. 10 in there. And I've got these two. And I have the one that was the pop-up down there. So, you know, we've got, what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 2, 43 tomato plants. That'll be enough. I think we'll... I think I'll, I told Paula this year, we're going to cut back on tomatoes, you know. We had 67, 66 last year, so I cut it down to 42. <laughs> we still got jars of tomatoes from last year that we've got canned that we still got to go through. So, she told me I couldn't grow too many unless we were going to eat them, and I guess I'll be eating a lot of that stuff this year. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been Brian from PB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. It's the best time of year for gardeners, and I love having these grow tents to get my starts going. All right, talk to you again. Bye.